In honor of Arian Cohen's Sex Diaries project, Livewire did some digging to see if we could find any famous sex diaries. What we uncovered is a very lurid story from the March 16th, 1982 issue of Penthouse Forum, written by a current Republican presidential frontrunner. And even though it's nearly 30 years old, we feel it could be a campaign bombshell. Dear Penthouse Forum, my name is Rick S. and I'm a young, exceedingly handsome aide for a Washington politician. I know you're not going to believe this, but every single word is completely true. Recently, I went on an unchaperoned evening outing with a female Presbyterian woman. I know what you're thinking, and yes, everything you've heard about Presbyterian women is true. She was 5'6", brown hair, with a body for procreation, covered head to toe in floral Laura Ashley. During dinner, I could tell she was impressed with my Bible knowledge, my frugal conservative tipping, and my unwillingness to separate church and state ever. The walk back to the car after was charged with the possibility of heterosexual skin contact. Now, penthouse, I'm kind of a risk taker. So without first calling her father to ask for permission, I reached down and grabbed her hand with my hand. I did it. Things were getting steamy in a hurry. For him, I leaned in close and laid a kiss right on her forehead with both lips. I knew I'd be in confession for weeks for that one. But a man has to live. Wow, it sure feels good to get that off my chest for him. I'll write back after our second date. The new Ryan O'Neill movie is playing at the singleplex, and I'm hoping to kiss some wrist. Oh, yeah. Sincerely, Rick. You've been listening to a snippet of Livewire, the radio variety show that's like a chew toy for your brain. For more information about the show or to download our podcast, visit livewireradio.org.